Authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. We are looking at downtown Owensboro. It's going to be hopping tonight. Blanco Brown is in town. And, of course, that's Friday after 5 that's going on. Big football games going on all across the tri-state. The weather is going to cooperate. Mother Nature with the humidity staying low, for the most part, through the evening. And so temperatures, you know, right about 5 o'clock, still be in the low 80s, but dropping down through the 70s as we head toward 10 o'clock. It's going to be right around 70, 70, 72. So, yeah, not a bad evening whatsoever, especially with that lower humidity. And we've had a lot of really good ones lately. The only thing you got to worry about, as I told you on the Skeeter meter, is getting bit by mosquitoes. So we take a look at downtown Owensboro and all its glory. Of course, that's from our roofclaim.com camera. On top of the Hampton Inn. Now we're looking from Ellis Park. They still are racing for a few more weekends at Ellis, at least until Labor Day. And you've got yourself a look at the Twin Bridges. Plenty of traffic. And it's all moving. All four lanes open for business. That's not always the case, as we well know. And it's always nice that it's open for business on a Friday. So that's good. You can get home faster, right? As we take a look into the traffic, plenty of it. Kind of teeming with traffic there at 66 and 69. Getting close to lunchtime. That's the second cement mixer. I mean, there were so many cement mixers working their way to Ward County. Big projects, apparently, uh, is what's going on. They do have a fi firehouse and a community center they're actually putting up in, on Liberty Road. So that's, that's one project I know that's going on. Anyway, you got yourself deep blue sky over downtown Evansville. The low humidity, the reason for that, that's our superior eye camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. It's 82 degrees, 63 is a dew point. Not bad at all. Wind has been calm for most of the day. It is going to pick up a little bit from the southeast later on this afternoon. You know what follows a south wind or a southeast wind is generally more humid air, but not so much today. It is going to be tomorrow. We could see the dew point kind of climb at times up to 64, 65, which is kind of borderline humid, but no, not bad. Temperature-wise, most of us in the 80s, still some 70s out there. Well, one. <laughs> it's only one left. French Lick, 79. It's 80 degrees Lagodi, 81 degrees in Jasper, 82 in Santa Claus, 83 in Owensboro, 84 in Princeton, 85, 85, 85. I don't see an 85 out there. So, yeah, I mean, we're all kind of bunched there in the low 80s, with one exception, of course, 79 in French Lick. Live first warning Doppler radar. Not showing anything. We did see a little bit of rain kind of trickle out of the lakes region of Kentucky, kind of work their way toward the tri state, then kind of fizzle out. Same goes for Nashville. So maybe a few showers if you're traveling down to the Music City this afternoon. The bigger deal is going to be up to our northwest. You can see some thunderstorms headed into Kansas City, Iowa, and also northwestern Illinois catching some showers and thunderstorms that could be severe too. They got a slight risk for severe weather across that area. Chicago, I think you're A OK. You can see, even though we might see a stray shower too, in some of the suburbs. I think for the most part, the Windy City is going to be unscathed as far as the severe weather threat is concerned today. But there is a severe weather threat tomorrow. I'll show you that coming up here in a few minutes. Uh, but you see down to the south, they've got that stalled out frontal boundary. There's some activity down there. What there's no activity of is down in the tropics. I mean, we have not had much of a year tropic-wise, and no big deal there. Uh, it has not been active, let's put it that way. But you can see this next storm system. There's a the counterclockwise flow with that low, and that system is working its way in our direction. It's going to be knocking on the door this weekend. Future tracker indicates maybe a stray shower or two popping up this afternoon. Uh, we really didn't see anything over the past couple of days, and I think it's going to be a pretty similar setup. Yeah, if you do, I mean, you're, you're going to get maybe a little bit of rain. It's going to be gone almost as soon as it pops up, and most of us don't see a drop. Then as we head through the evening, things looking pretty good. Just a few clouds out there, and of course, for the football games, no problems whatsoever. Same goes for anything else going on outside. Then as we head into Saturday, though, we are going to see a few more clouds crop up overnight. And first thing tomorrow morning at 5.30, 6 o'clock, yeah, you got quite a few clouds on the board. Still some breaks out there, too. And then just a chance, a slight chance for rain in the morning, just a few showers out there. That rain chance is going to pick up a little bit, especially up to the northwest in the afternoon. And that's where we have an isolated threat for damaging winds and also large hail in our northwest corner. It really includes Vincennes, too, some of our northern counties, but it also includes Fairfield. That's at 6, 630. For most of us, though, nothing shaken. But then we see the chance for rain pick up overnight. And this is going to be our best chance of rain throughout the weekend. It's going to be while a lot of us sleep from midnight until daybreak on Sunday morning. Here come some showers and thunderstorms pushing through the Evansville metro. Not a whole lot after that. Maybe a few showers to the east of Evansville as we head into later morning. By the afternoon, those thunderstorms are already toward Louisville. That's where the severe threat is to, on Sunday. It's going to be to the east of the tri-state. So here's what it looks like on rainfall forecast. Really not a whole lot to be had. These are going to be scattered. Some places getting heavier than others, but 
Yeah, it's not really showing much through Saturday and really not a whole lot more through Sunday. We're talking about maybe a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, I think, for most of us on Sunday morning. Uh, marginal risk for severe weather. This is tomorrow and really it's late afternoon, early evening up around Fairfield, Flora, Olney, also Vincennes. So basically the northwest corner of the tri-state. For the rest of us, I mean, we might hear a few rumbles of thunder, but nothing severe expected. And the threat, no tornado threat, just a hail and a wind threat to the northwest. And you've got that marginal risk for severe weather on Sunday to our east. Here's Tell City. Pretty much our eastern county, uh, most eastern county, is Perry County. So it's good to be east. Those storms kind of flare up late morning into the afternoon. High today, 87 degrees and storm free and rain free too with a mix of sunshine and clouds. Not that humid. For one last day, <laughs> enjoy it while we got it. The wind's going to shift around a little bit to the east, southeast, 5 to 10. A lot closer to 5 than 10 though, I'll tell you that. So not much of a wind out there to deal with. Three degree guarantee. Yesterday I called for a high of 85. Got up to 86. That's a three degree guarantee winner. Let's hear it for Randy Stone of Evansville. Congratulations, Randy. You've got yourself an umbrella, courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic, of course. And over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be staying in the 80s. The average high temperature, 88 degrees. We're not going to hit that. We'll get pretty close, though, so, uh, today and also tomorrow. And it's going to be more humid tomorrow. So Saturday, really the most uncomfortable day of the bunch. And then on Sunday, we've got that chance for rain in the morning. Of course, we could see a few showers out there on Saturday as well. And then a slight chance on Monday early. But for the most part, it's going to be dry to start next week and temperature highs a little bit warmer. It's not going to be technically humid, but it's not going to be as comfortable next week as what we had this week. Let's put it that way. Mid to upper 80s for highs. Lows are going to be in the 60s. So there you okay. have it. Not a bad, not bad weekend, but nothing to brag about, especially with the weather we've had so far. Humidity is going to make things a little more, a little more uncomfortable, let's say that. Beautiful sunrise oh, this yeah. morning in Cromwell. Eileen Bullington got this shot here. Of course, that's in Ohio County. And I love that shot, that golden sky. We had a beauty. Wonderful. We'll be back. More lifestyles right after this.